Hello, chemistry students. Today we will be performing our synthesis of T-pentyl chloride experiment. In this experiment, we'll prepare the tertiary alkyl halide T-pentyl chloride by reacting T-pentyl alcohol with concentrated hydrochloric acid. This reaction occurs via an SN1 mechanism. Let's get started. To begin, we will pre-weigh a five milliliter conical vial. The mass of our pre-weighed five milliliter conical vial is 28.5584 grams. We will next add one milliliter of t pentyl alcohol to our pre-weighed five milliliter conical vial and then re-weigh the vial plus the alcohol. The mass of the pre-weighed five milliliter conical vial plus the t pentyl alcohol is 29.3628 grams. We will next add 2.5 milliliters of concentrated hydrochloric acid to our five milliliter conical vial with the t pentyl alcohol and shake for one minute. We will then vent the vial and recap and shake for an additional three minutes, venting occasionally. We will then allow the mixture to stand until the layer of alkyl halide product separates. The t pentyl chloride layer should be the top layer, but be sure to verify this by adding a couple drops of hydrochloric acid. After the layers have separated, we will remove the lower aqueous layer and discard it using a pasture pipette. We will next perform an extraction of our t pentyl chloride. The extraction must be performed rapidly because t pentyl chloride is unstable in water and aqueous bicarbonate solution. We will first wash the organic layer with one milliliter of deionized water, shake for a few seconds, and then discard the lower aqueous layer. We will then add one milliliter of 5% aqueous sodium bicarbonate solution and gently mix using a glass stir rod until it is thoroughly mixed. We will then cap and shake the vial gently with occasional venting for one minute. After one minute, we will shake the vial more vigorously with venting for an additional 30 seconds. We will then discard the lower aqueous layer and transfer the organic layer to a new dry conical vial and dry the crude t pentyl chloride over anhydrous sodium sulfate.
We will next transfer the dried T-pental chloride to a new clean and dry three milliliter conical vial using a filter tip pipette. We will next perform a distillation of our crude T pental chloride. I've added a spin vane to our three milliliter conical vial containing our crude T pental chloride and connected it to a Hickman head still, which has been connected to a water cooled condenser and a drying tube packed with cotton and anhydrous calcium chloride. We will remove our T pental chloride distillate from the side port of the Hickman head using a pasture pipette and transfer to a new conical vial. We will now pre-weigh the conical vial that we will be using to collect our T-pental chloride distillate. The mass of the conical vial that we will be using to collect our T-pental chloride distillate is 28.6654 grams. The mass of our pre-weighed conical vial plus our T-pental chloride distillate is 29.4066 grams. We will now perform a microscale boiling point determination of the T-pental chloride distillate. Okay, students, you can now determine the percent yield, the boiling point, and analyze the IR spectrum of our T-pental chloride. This concludes the synthesis of T-pental chloride experiment. Thank you for joining me for this laboratory.